This is the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and um, for the first time in a long time, I know I'm sorry, there was a lot of things happening in the last three months that kept me away from the channel. Unfortunately nothing for the channel, it was all stuff that had to do with uh, church and, and working there now. So, um, um, for the first time in a long time, I have something to share with you. So, uh, let's go check it out. So, before we start, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like, and subscribe to my channel, and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website, and or join my Facebook group get behind the scenes info. Before we get to the video, here is a short disclaimer for you guys. Please take note. All repairs and reviews are done by myself for myself and on my own products and property. I fix problems as I find them and I do a first impression review on products that I buy. So if you have a question for me on a product or you have a complaint about a product, I apologize if I cannot give you a proper answer. Remember, if a product is faulty, please take it back to where you've bought it. And if there's any other problem that I have never encountered before, I will try and find the answer for you. Anyway, let's get to the video. Okay, let us see what I received. I just received a package from one of my insurance companies who gave me this gift because I upgraded my, my package a little bit. I thought it was going to be nice if we uh, see what I got. So this will be the first time that I'm opening up this box. You can see it's still sealed. So uh, let us see what we have. And here we go. We have <laughs> a drone from the hobby group. It's for 14 years and older, a Wi-Fi camera. Just quickly from the box, let's see what we have. It's from the hobby group. As you said, it's for 14 years and older, it's the HG20. It's got a Wi-Fi camera, altitude hold, 360 roll, app control from your, from your phone, speed mode, USB charger, real-time transmission, and headless mode. Okay. So, no, obviously, <laughs> phone is not included. Yeah, okay. That's South Africa for you. Drone battery, 3.74 volts, 150 milliamp per hour, transmitted battery, charging time, 45 minutes, flying time, 6 to 8 minutes. It's not going to go very high and very far. It's actually very uh, basic basic drone. This thing is not going to even follow me if I go anywhere. What I wanted to say is where I'm living, um, I'm not allowed to fly anywhere. I mean, I'm in the middle of, of the houses and in the suburb. I'm not allowed to fly this thing over any houses or anything. And uh, it's not like I go hiking, I don't go fishing, I don't go anywhere where I can take it along. But I've never had a drone, so now I've got one. So be thankful for that. Okay, here it is. Fresh out of the box. Got the drone. Uh, which is still uh, tied down. I'll loosen it up just now. We've got the controller. This is really cheap. Really, really. And we've got the spare blades, which is awesome. We've got the holder. And this, I believe, is the drone battery. Okay, and that's all that's in the packet. So in the packet, I got this um, USB charger. So it seems like you plug the battery in the back, and then you charge 
the battery on your USB. Only thing that I'm kind of sad about is you have to charge for almost 50, 60 minutes and then only flies eight minutes. So if you really want to take just a short video, it's fine. You're not going to fly very long and very far. Then we got our new or spare blades and I also got the clip. So this connects to your remote and then you open up at the back, sorry, like this and you put your cell phone in there. And then of course we have the manual. I was almost getting worried. Um, I don't have batteries for the remote control, but I see now here with the app, I'm actually able to fly the drone with my cell phone. And uh, that's very nice. So even if the controller is damaged or doesn't work or you don't have batteries, you can use your cell phone to fly with. This means if I want to make a recording of me flying the drone, I have to do it with another camera. But I've downloaded the app. All I need to do now, do now is to charge the, the actual battery for the drone and then we can take it for a flight. Maybe tomorrow or no, definitely tomorrow. So guys, the, the manual doesn't actually show you how to put the battery in. So um, I took a chance and opened up at the back and guess what? I've got a spare battery. This battery was already inside the drone. So I've got a spare battery. This one was already in the unit. So um, I'm gonna charge the one and then I'll put this one on charge. Let's quickly look at some discrepancies in the manual. You can clearly see it says new toy, right? Don't play it under unsafety. Is unsafety even a word? And you can lose your life with this drone. I guess that's why in point one, they clearly state that this product is not a toy. Contradiction? Now as a beginner, I followed the manual to a T and this is how you insert the battery, right? Well, that looks correct to me according to the manual. Okay, here's a quick look at the drone before the maiden flights. You have four propellers, obviously. Propeller guards, which I already broke the one off because I crashed, but I'll talk about that later. And uh, it's got the camera at the bottom, which you can remove. And there's not much more to it than that. Very basic standard drone. You at least get the four extra propellers in your um, package, which is awesome. The spare battery and uh, I think later on you can probably upgrade the camera if you want to have a better quality camera in it. Welcome to the maiden flight or maiden crash of our drone. I'm going to give it a name. Let's call it Deadless because Icarus crashed. So let's call this Deadless. Let's fly Deadless. Uh, maiden flight for Deadless. Awesome, now let's quickly talk about this drone while you look at the very poor footage of the camera. I will never be able to take this thing out and uh, do awesome nature shots and uh, weddings for example because the quality absolutely is crap. But it's a beginner drone so what more do you expect? Now once again I'm a beginner so I read in the manual do not fly this drone when there's a wind factor of 4. What the freaking hell is a wind factor of 4? It means nothing to me. What I did realize is the moment the leaves are moving, then you better not be flying. That's what I learned. So in the morning when I flew this, it was nice weather, no wind, early in the morning. And uh, oh yeah, the maximum distance is 50 meters. Do I fly with a bloody measuring tape? Huh? How am I supposed to know how far is 50 meters? 
Anyway, here I was flying into the trees because the controller that I used was the cell phone and I quickly realized that flying Wi-Fi connected through the phone is a very unresponsive event. Um, I've noticed a couple of times that when I release the joystick on the phone, the drone keeps on moving into a direction. It doesn't stop and hover. And uh, that's for that reason, I want to get batteries for the actual controller because I think if I can link to the controller by the frequency, it might be more responsive. So I only flew with the cell phone since I didn't have batteries for the controller. Another feature that a drone is supposed to have is uh, height control or height supposed to freeze at the height that you set it. In my, in my case that I found is the moment I switched that button on, this drone comes crashing down like a champion. Another thing that I did find is the 360 flip which is very entertaining for the kids. The thing flips around 360. Unfortunately, I didn't take a video at that moment. Also, as, you've, as I've told you that uh, the drone only flies 6 minutes after charging it for about 60 minutes. Uh, you can adjust the power or the speed from 30 to 100 and I've realized later on when the wind was blowing a bit more that 100% is definitely where you want it because at 30% the drone doesn't even move. So this was the first maiden flight. It didn't go too badly, but I would have had liked to have more control over the controller. Oh, and by the way, what really messed my head up is when the drone turns around, forward remains to be forward, back is back. So if you were used to flying into one direction and you suddenly turn the drone around, then moving it forward will move the drone in a totally opposite direction. So you always have to keep in mind which side you are going to. This was a bit late in the day. As you guys can see, the leaves are moving. And I have no idea what wind factor this is, but this totally messed up my drone. I couldn't control it. The moment I leave the controller, the wind will blow the drone off course. And I did crash it here a bit badly into a tree, if I'm not mistaken. And that damaged my blade guard. It broke off two of the uh, connecting points of the blade guard and uh, for that reason um, the blade got stuck. See, I think in, uh, there was a 360 flip, sorry. Luckily the guard is not totally off, I can still fly with it as is. Um, I will have to get, get some uh, glue from with a glue gun and just put the um, you know just put the guard back on properly. But yeah that was one of my crashes. This is where I almost lost my drone, because like any curious guy, I wanted to know how high can I go. And I obviously moved above 50 meters, lost connection to the Wi-Fi or lost connection to the drone, and the drone started moving into its own direction. And I already saw this drone is heading into the neighboring houses or into a yard. Luckily, I was able to reconnect to the drone and with actually a lot of struggle, tried to get the drone down, but at least I was able to get it down safely. This just made me realize that in future, if I want to fly this drone, I need to do it somewhere along this the coastline or in a big open field, maybe in a rugby or soccer stadium, or somewhere where I can uh, fly with it and there's almost zero wind factor. But in the end of the day, it was an enjoyable thing to play with, it's a nice toy. I never had one before, so I should be grateful for what I have. And then, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to this channel and uh, ring the bell icon so that you can get notified of any of my future uploads. Until next time, guys. Cheers.